Have you ever seen or heard a singer, you know, walk up to a piano accompanist and say something like, okay, Sam, let's play Ipanema and B-flat, my key, right? <laughs> and then you wonder, well, how in the heck does that work? Or, or how can I figure out what my key is for some tune? Well, that question about vocal ranges and the kind of connection to different keys, it's a pretty complex one to describe in text, yet it's really not very difficult to understand once it kind of sinks in and you can see it visually. So I'm going to explain it to you and clear some things up here in this video. All right, so the question we're dealing with today is, is you know, how do I know or, or how do I figure out what is my key or, you know, what key is best for me to sing a tune in? Well, step one is to realize this truism, I guess. Okay, different songs all have different melody lines, right? That's what separates one tune from another. So I've got a different melody line, but each one of those melody lines have different ranges between their highest and their lowest note, right? that makes sense? Because there's somewhere in that melody line that's going to go up and down throughout the tune, and there's going to be some high and some low. So some tunes have high, bigger ranges and some are smaller, but they're different for every tune. So let me give you a couple examples of things right here. Say we're going to do uh, the birthday. I'm going to pick a couple easy ones, like birthday song, right, just so the tunes aren't, aren't knocking us out of the water here. Let's take a look at this. So say we're going to do uh, the birthday song. Um, um, what is it? <laughs> So here we go. We're going to sing the birthday song, right? So we're going to sing, Happy birthday to you. Right? So, so far, pretty small range. Ooh, and jumps all the way up there. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Right? So if I was singing that tune there, da -da, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. That's a little high for me. I'm like, oh, that one kind of stretches me out just a little bit, right? It's just getting my, my vocal range a little bit too high right there. So I'm like, well, you know what would be easier is if I could just sing this tune just down a little bit. Let's take the whole thing and just scooch it down just a little. Say, okay, well, let's do it, say, in, um, uh, starting it there. Say, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Ha, ha. Now that's perfectly within my range, right? I can really, for me, and this is me alone, probably not you, I can do that pretty easy. Ba -da -da -da, right? Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. So in this tune, for my voice only, it was easier for me to sing it like from here to here. Here was the entire distance of that melody line instead of up here because this was a little bit too high for me. So I just took the whole thing and scooched it down. Well, if you, you end up figuring out what, what key those are, and the first one I was playing it in was F, right? And, and the reason, the only reason that you can tell that is it's, ha um, uh, ha I'll do it, sorry, I'll do the melody on. Happy birthday to you. And I don't want to get into all the details of how you figure out what, a, what key a tune is in, but here's one super bad, super easy trick I can give you, and that is whatever the very last note and last chord of a tune is, 99.99% of the time, that's going to be the key. So let me show you this. If I'm playing, happy birthday, do, 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 you played through it, starting there. And that ends on an F, and highly likely then the last chord is going to be just an F major chord. And it turns out that is almost every time when you figure that out, whatever that last chord is, that will just be the, the key that the tune is in. So this was playing it in the key of F when I started here. Back up to the F chord. And the B flat chord. Right? F, C, F. So it ended on an F chord. So in F. So in that case, that was the one that was a little bit too high for me because I didn't want to sing all the way up here. So I just shifted the whole thing down and instead played it in C, right? So I'm going to start here. Happy birthday to you. Oh, so, sorry. Happy. I'm trying to get my hands out of the way. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Back to C chord. Happy birth. Now when that reached up, I could sing that one. Right? Now it's going to go to... Excuse me, F, C, G. So in that case, and again, I don't want to get you 
too hung up on, on the keys I was in. The point is, when I couldn't sing the birthday song in, in a particular spot because it just got a little bit too high for me, uh, right? I just found a spot where that melody felt better in my range. Now, that may not be the same for you, but in this case, the key of F was too high for me. So, from now on, I'm going to walk up and say, hey, Sam, let's play the birthday song in C, right? So C is kind of my tune. So now let's go on to a, a tune number two, just to make this point. Let's go on to some other nutty tune that, of course, you'd probably never, ever sing while you're out working a gig. But, hey, you would at a baseball game, and that's take me out to the ball game, right? So, um, so um, uh, yeah, we said that uh, the key of C worked for me for the birthday song. Well, let's try the key of C and uh, take me out to the ball game. So that tune is... Right, so it's take, you know, but, uh, but I'm going to be doing that, take, because I've got a real low voice, right? So I'm going to be, take me out to the ball game, take, right? I'll, I'll play the melody here so you can see it, but it'll be, take me out to the ball game, take me out to, to the crowd, right? And then, uh, fine, and cracker jack. I don't care if I never get back, cause it's rude, rude, right? Well, that one's a little bummer. So where I was singing that seemed a little low. So instead of doing it there, let me move it up a little bit, right? That I don't want to do it there, cause that got too low for me. So I'm gonna shift up. I'll go up this case. Let's start it on the F. Take me out to. Excuse me. Take me out to the. That one's feel a little better. Take me out to the crowd, right? Buy me some finish and tracker jack. I don't care if I never get back. Well, that one's falling pretty well for me. Take me out to the ball game. Take that's not so low. So hey, in this case, I think I like take me out to the ball game in the key of F rather than in C, right? So I'd rather do that one here. So the point was, and that's why I did it that way, in the birthday song, the key of F was too high for me for that tune, so I'd rather, I'd rather sing that one in the key of C. But in the case of ball game, take me out to the ball game, the key of C was too low for me, so I'd rather sing that one in F. See what I mean? So that's what's kind of funny. It's not as though you have a particular key for you. It's that a particular song is going to be best played for your particular range in some particular key, right? i.e., you need to shift the melody line into your range as best as you can and then determine what that key is needed to fit the melody line there, right? Get it into a spot where you can sing it. So you can kind of sum it up as just saying that your range doesn't identify one key that's best for you, but rather you should sing tunes in whatever particular key for a tune that gets it into your range, right? It's kind of a backwards thing. Does that make sense? For example, you know, again, like I said, I might need to sing the song Misty in the key of F, but I might need to sing the song Jingle Bells in the key of D. So it's not like F is my key for every tune. It just was the key that works for that particular tune because those two tunes melodies are just not exactly the same. So singers tend to learn I mean, good singers, professionals, they tend to learn what key a particular tune that they're wanting to sing is best for their range, for them, right? But it's not a situation where that one key is best for every song for them because every song has a different melody line and has a different range. So that, of course, then leads headfirst into the topic of transposing, which lets you easily, or fairly easily once you get it figured out, it lets you kind of slide a tune up or down a few notes to get the melody comfortably in your range. And transposing is way beyond the realm of what I want to get into in this video. And in fact, I'll probably do some videos on that. And we, we cover that in depth in multiple places in our online courses. But, but the main concept is just taking the chord changes to a tune, right? Wherever they're written in a lead sheet, and you move all of them up or down the same interval, or maybe you want to think of it the same number of half steps throughout the entire tune. So, you know, in the real world, the way I'm doing it when I'm learning tunes, right, I'll sing along with a tune from a lead sheet if I'm just seeing it for the first time at the very beginning, and I'll see if I can sing it in that key without it getting way too high or way too low for me range-wise. And if it's uncomfortably high, 
I'll just transpose it down a couple of notes until it gets that highest part that I'm having trouble with down into my range so I'm not struggling. And then, once I figure out how far down I went, I just learn the whole tune in that key instead, and I just play it there enough times until I get the chord changes memorized. Then, like anything else we do, you don't need the lead sheet anyway. You don't have any more lead sheet, and you just have another tune that's in your, in your head that you can kind of throw in your basket and can play at this point in a key that works for your own vocal range. So, to summarize and wrap this up, just remember, no one has one key that is their best key to sing in all the time. Rather, you're going to have a favorite key to sing some particular tune in, and that key, excuse me, that key may be different for different tunes based on the range of that tune's melody line. So, hopefully that helps clear something up that is often misunderstood and kind of misquoted. And as always, I hope you have a great time and always have fun playing piano.